The Twin Falls School District will move into the orange level starting on Wednesday, and that means big changes for one high school in particular. For Twin Falls High School, this week is homecoming. Under the orange uh, schedule, have greater restrictions in terms of, uh, of gatherings within the school. And so I think it just becomes more challenging and, and students will have to get a little more creative in terms of how they can how they can celebrate. All this week, the students are holding dress up days and connecting via social media. Um, we're really just trying to do our best to give our students the best homecoming experience they can have while still supporting the district. And there might not be a dance, but there will be a football game. I mean, I think any events where people are packed tightly together and not wearing masks, it's concerning that the virus could very well easily spread. And so that's probably going to, well, will it'll reduce down significantly than the number of people that are att able to attend the game. To make it easier to social distance, each player is allowed two spectators that can come and cheer them on from the stands. Originally, the orange plan said no spectators, um, and after um, considering, you know, what that meant in terms of parents being able to watch their, their children compete, felt like it was reasonable to change that to two spectators per student. Those who can't go to the game are planning to hold watch parties instead. Oh, I think it'll still be fun, and I hope our football players know that, like, we still fully support them even though we can't go to the game this time. For more information on the orange level or what hybrid learning will look like, head to our website, ksawtv.com. In Twin Falls, Natasha Williams, Idaho News 6.